this is my Sato 200Ti. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit of something about, about uh, how the timing is on this as far as the uh, top dead center on the cylinder. So a lot of people think this is an uneven firing twin and it's not. Um, it's 30 degrees offset cylinders but the crank throws are also offset 30 degrees. Uh, if you look at read the degree wheel there, we're right at between 15 and 16 degrees when I come to the stop. I have a piston stop in this glow plug hole. If I turn it the other way, it also comes up to 16 degrees. Now I'm going to take that piston stop out of the front cylinder and put it in the rear cylinder. Okay, we go up against the stop, 16 degrees, rotate around the other way, we're at 16 degrees. Both pistons come to top dead center at the same time. The way the cams are, they're um, it's set to fire alternating cylinders uh, every revolution, so it is an even firing twin. It fires every 360 degrees. Here we're going to simulate uh, the position of the magnet and the, uh, the Hall effect sensor at a given degrees before top dead center. I just took my stop and loosened the lock nut and screwed the, the um, screw all the way down and it ended up coming in at 34 degrees. And it doesn't matter if you're setting your timing at 28 degrees or 30 degrees or 34 degrees. This is just going to show you the relationship of uh, each piston as it comes up on the uh, on the firing sequence, the, fir the firing point where you get spark, and in this case it's 34 degrees. Now over here I place the mark on the prop hub and the crankcase to uh, show you where 34 degrees is located. And we've got this front cylinder that the stops turned in and uh, it's coming up at 34 degrees. Now I'm going to take and remove the stop from the front cylinder and I'm going to place it a little easier to do it with the right hand. I'm going to place it in the rear cylinder. And actually what I'm going to do, before I screw that down, I'm going to rotate this so that the rear cylinder will be coming up 360 degrees in rotation, coming up on that timing mark compared to what the, where the front cylinder was. Uh, so I want to cooperate here. There it goes. A little bit of a bird there. Okay, so we're all set to bring her the rear cylinder around to the timing mark. There we are, 34 degrees. And the mark on the case in the prop hub is lined up. That means that wherever you set your timing for one cylinder, it's going to be the same for the other cylinder. This engine is an even firing twin. 30 degree offset twin throw crank combined with 30 degree offset cylinders means that the pistons hit top dead center or any point 
in the, in the timing advance curve at exactly the same time. 